Have you ever wondered how to keep your brain, your dog, your cat's brain healthy and strong? In this episode of NRA Secrets, I'm going to show you the exact ways for both yourself and your pets. Hello you guys and welcome, this is Dr. Andrew Jones. Today is the first snowfall of the year. As you can see behind me, I got my, just dug out my winter coat, the snow's blowing. Many of the people of the world are kind of huddled in, all grumpy about snow. But not my kids, definitely not my pet. It just so happens that I recently listened to a report on brain health and you'd be really surprised about the findings and what ties into the snow. All right, let's go. Woohoo! So of all the variety of different things that have been studied um, in terms of, you know, how can you keep your brain healthy? How can we keep our pet's brain healthy? You know, prevent things like brain aging, which is sort of a natural thing that's gonna happen. The single biggest thing more than anything else has been what I'm doing right now. It's called exercise. We're going for a walk. The first big part about regularly exercising is that we're increasing blood flow, not just to areas you know, such as the muscles in our legs. So increasing blood flow to this, the brain. Your brain healthy you gotta exercise you want to keep your dog's brain healthy you want to keep your cat's brain healthy you got to keep them exercising the next big point is being happy people that are happier have brains that degenerate at a lot slower pace and they're much less likely to get brain diseases and so in, in all likelihood we can draw that same parallel uh, with our dogs with our pets a dog which is happier that gets attention, they get lots of time to play, that does the things they want to do in terms of exercise, etc., is more than likely going to have a much healthier brain. Nice poodle. Come here, Joy. The third thing is diet. With people, they're primarily suggesting the Mediterranean diet, which is primarily, um, we're looking at more fruits and vegetables, less red meat, more fish, and more antioxidants. So if we want to equate that to our dogs, you know, think of eliminating some of those uh, non-nutritious carbohydrates, you know, such as corn, uh, such as wheat. Um, we're looking at more animal-based protein, looking at adding in some more fish, adding in some of the more benefits you're gonna get, get from some of the vegetables. A real easy way to do that will be looking at adding in some type of complete dog supplement uh, for cats, some type of complete cat supplement. Uh, that's gonna include some of those antioxidants such as vitamin E, such as vitamin C. For dogs, you can look at something like my dog supplement here, Ultimate Canine. And then for cats, you can look at something like my cat supplement here, Ultimate Feline. Tool is getting an Ultimate Canine treat. Yum. Here, Tula. Good girl. There, oh, just good. Mm. The fourth thing is the omega-3 fatty acids. Now, uh, when you look into all the different research that goes in towards supplements that can positively impact brain health, the omega-3 omega fatty acids have a, a array of research backing up the results. The big thing is you need to be looking at high enough doses to know that they're gonna be beneficial. So we're looking at 1,000 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. So something like little Thule here, that, that could equate to be giving her flax oil, you know, one teaspoon twice a day. Or, so for something like Thule here, that could equate to giving flax oil, and that's at two teaspoons twice daily. The other big thing when we're looking at supplements that can positively impact the brain is they have to be able to penetrate and pass through the blood-brain barrier meaning you can give it to yourself orally, you can give it to your dogs, you can give it to your cats, 
but I mean, it has to get through the blood-brain barrier to actually get into those brain cells and be effective. So perhaps in the lab, they might show it look like, oh, there's some promising results. This can you know, positively Im impact brain function, maybe delay you know, brain loss or just the effects of how antioxidants are attacking the brain. But they have to get in there, and that common sense makes sense. So the one antioxidant that I've seen that actually has some pretty good research behind it is this one. It's called alpha-lipoic acid. And it's an antioxidant found throughout our body, through our, our pet's body. So the alpha-lipoic acid dose is 50 to 100 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. Thanks for watching this edition of NRE Secrets. First, I'd like you to click down there to like this video. Click up there to subscribe to my channel. Then lastly, when you go ahead, click that link directly in the box below. And then when you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free books and my free videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.